Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a coffee commercial for Kingdom Coffee. And uh, as you can see here, we've got this set up behind us. It's the first shot. I wanted the beans to sort of fill up the chest and flow either side in slow motion. And to do that, what I did was cut out some cardboard and attach some cotton to either stick, cardboard stick. Basically, you'd pull from either end, so it lifts. It's like a pulley system. It lifts the cardboard up pushing the beans up and hopefully spilling over the side. So we'll give that a shot. Three, Right, so I just thought I'd show you guys how much light this setup actually needs. So I've got the Aperture 120D on 100% with the diffuser, and I've got this ring light over here, which is just giving a little bit extra from the side. But also on the end of this lens, there is a built-in LED because this lens has an f-stop that goes from f14 to f40. So the widest that this lens opens up to is f14 which is ridiculous and I've also had to boost the camera ISO up to 1600 because it's still so dark <laughs> so it's uh, it's crazy but get some cool shots though. So for this next shot um, I've got the black background set up quite high and the light dome sort of almost overhead and I'm going to get below the camera here with this and I'm going to throw this up into the air so it basically twists in slow motion and I've got to get sort of quite low and it's on 120 frames a second so we should get some nice smooth shots and I've put this blanket here in case I drop it and it smashes which it won't do. I'm going to just try this shot where I've got the cone and the filter and I'm going to drop them both like this upside down and then in post I'm going to flip the clip and reverse the speed so it looked like it's falling, falling down like this so we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to teach my dad how to flick the coffee filter into the jug um, and then I'm going to try and do like a handheld smooth pan in. So this is going to be um, my sexy lunch time. I'm about to attempt what I think is the hardest shot of the video. I'm going to have the probe lens inside the jug and then as I tip the coffee out into this jug, it's going to slowly pull out and reveal what's happening, but um, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the 1DX with the 7200 on, pointing at this glass, which is going to be filled with coffee in a minute. And I'm going to shoot at about 120 frames a second so we can slow that down in post. I've got the fire going and I'm going to put some more logs on there in a second so the flames get bigger. And we've got this orange warm light down here which sort of adds to the warmth of the shot. We've got the Aperture 120D on 100%, which is just shooting directly at the glass. So let's see how that goes. Okay, 
Right guys, so this is the very last shot of the commercial. Uh, we've got everything set up here. We've got the treasure chest full of coffee beans, decanter. We've got these coffee bags over here, beans everywhere. The camera's got a 50 mil prime F 3.5, I think it's on. I'm going to make a jug full of coffee and then pour the coffee into the cup, press record, place the coffee cup down. That'll be the final shot. So that's it, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something or enjoyed watching behind the scenes. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification icon and I'll see you in the next video.